The VTubers are here, and no, it's not a combination of the plant monsters from the day of the Triffids and the old TV series V into one horrifying and scary alien invasion plant lizard people revealed by a ripped down face situation. It's virtual YouTubers, and I imagine, much like me, you want to be one. So let's find out how you can easily make one yourself and start streaming today. Stupid analogy. <laughs> he, no one's gonna get that. First things first, you're gonna need to create an avatar. And the easiest way I've found to do this is from a website called Ready Player Me. This can be found at readyplayerme.net. And while it's honestly not the most powerful or customizable tool you can use, what it does have in its favor is it's easy and it's free. You can't argue with free. Choose your body type and then upload a photo of yourself, then go through the customization options. Sure, that basically looks like me. Once you're happy with your avatar, click next and download your avatar and save it somewhere you'll easily find it. Next, you wanna get this avatar ready for use. And for that, what we're going to use is a program called Animaze, which is an evolution of the program you've probably heard of when it comes to VTubers called FaceRig. Animaze is free on the Steam store and has a bunch of rigs in there already. Now to use what we just created over on Ready Player Me, you're going to need to go through a few steps as it doesn't support it right out of the box. In the tools section of your Steam library, you'll find a program called Animes Editor, which once you've installed and opened, go to the Assets menu tab, click Import 3D Object, and select the file you downloaded over on Ready Player Me. Once it's all loaded in, you'll see your avatar right there. Now you can actually do some customization right here in the Animes Editor, but if you're like me, you're going to just want to get going. Right click on your avatar's file name in the hierarchy panel on the left hand side and select Bundle. Choose a folder to export to, and once you get the confirmation dialog box, open the main Animaze program, which can be found in the software section of your Steam library. Once Animaze is open, click the avatar icon on the navigation bar on the top left hand side, then choose imports from the pop out window. Then click the big plus button and select the file you saved in the previous step. It ends in .avatar, be careful not to confuse it with the Ready Player Me file, which ends in .glb. After the import is complete, make sure the camera window has your main camera selected. Once you've got everything ready, hit calibrate and follow the directions to get your model moving along with your actions. The final step is getting your avatar into your streaming program. We're going to be using XSplit Broadcaster. In anime, simply click enable virtual camera. Back in XSplit Broadcaster, you can go to the add sources menu and select anime's virtual camera, which will pop right into the preview window. If you want to remove its background, you can either enable that option in Animes, or you can tweak it some more by right-clicking the input name and selecting the color tab. From here, you can select color key and using the eyedrop tool and then moving the sliders until you see some crisp results. And now you're ready to go. Easy as that. You're set up, you're ready very quickly and you've got a VTuber ready to use. But we wanna know who are your favorite VTubers? What software do you use? Have you created your own animated model? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's been useful, give it a like and be sure to subscribe because we got a whole heap of videos coming out on this channel all the time. Be sure to reach out to us on socials. Stay in touch because we here at XSplit, we've got a bunch of stuff for you on all sorts of topics. So I will see you very soon. Thank you very much and goodbye. I feel a sneeze coming on happening.